so I wear this if it's really loud. Uh, it's not super loud right now, but when there's a bunch of cars, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I am one of the vendors. I'm here uh, setting up, uh, I don't know what paperwork or whatever you need. I'll give you whatever you need, but um, I'm setting up a popcorn stand for my charity. Okay. It's called Donate by Mail. We make air packages for kids in the children's hospital. Um, when they check in, they get a package with a bunch of, you know, stickers and coloring pages and stuff like that. And uh, so 80% of the money will go to the charity Donate by Mail. 20% of the money will go to the local charity Paws for a Cause, which is a local uh, dog rescue shelter. What, um, so did you talk to them about having a vendor stand here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, what's here. your name on there? Um, I spoke with um, Maggie Nunes, and um, I've been, um, it's been a whole rigmarole to try to get the right paperwork. My partner is actually going over to the planning department right now just to double confirm with them that everything is squared away, because, uh, you know, obviously we want to follow the law. Our goal is to help the puppies and children not to break the law. So, uh, of vendors here. Sure. Uh, let me just write it down for you one moment. I, uh, being autistic, it is much easier for me to just write things down. Hi. Hi. What did they say? What, the town the planning council? Yeah. We're going to go together, remember? Oh, I need you to take care of it. I'm speaking with my friend. Haley. I'm speaking with my friend Haley about setting up. I here, just leave that there and go and talk to them, please. Yeah, you're coming with me. My dear, I need to speak to my friend Haley about setting up. Will you please take care of it? Oh. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Yes. Okay, thank you for doing that. I remember being in the children's hospital. I do too. The Children's Hospital in Little Rock. I've been there many times. So, if it is okay with you, my partner's arms are very tired. We're simply going to leave this here for a couple of minutes, and we'll be right back. Okay. Okay, thank you. We'll be back in just a moment. It won't take very long at all. All right. my dear. Stop the traffic. Okay. Thank 
to my left. All right, so we need to speak to Jennifer or Teresa. I was told to speak to either Jennifer or Teresa, please. Okay. Well, it's wonderful to meet you. Uh, my name is Mr. Fox. I am an educator. I do not actually work for the public school system yet. I'm working on that, but I run a radio show called The Neil Fox Show. And we were told to speak to you about setting up a small popcorn stand for our charity. The charity's name is Donate by Mail. We create care packages for children in the hospital. I, I, I think that you were working, you were talking before last week, correct? Mm-hmm. And since you weren't in the last week, did you go talk to Maggie? We certainly did. She told us to come talk to you. She said that it, because it is a nonprofit, it is up to you guys to decide. And we will be happy to fill out any paperwork that's necessary. Uh, whatever you need us to do, we're happy to do it. Grab the card. Uh, we were planning on setting up directly next to the other, um, the, um, the funnel cake stands, because then people can purchase a funnel cake. And if they choose to, I, and again, the popcorn, it doesn't cost anything. So we give it away. And then if people choose to make a donation, the suggested donation is $3. 20% will go to a local charity called, uh, what was it called? Pause something? Pause for a cause. Pause for a cause. 80% will go to our charity, which is called Donate by Mail. <coughs> and uh, let me get you the rest of the information. So we went and spoke to Maggie, and she gave us this information. Oh, this is just the tracking number for the information that I sent. I don't know if you received it yet or not. You sent it by email to who? By Other email? Time? This is postal service. Okay. We haven't it's not an email, it's okay. postal service. Okay. Do you, what 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 is it that you're sending us though? Just all of the information about the charity. Okay. including our business registration, or sorry, not business registration, our charity registration, our banking information, the information okay. about our board so of directors. part of this, she's going to call up to our um, upstairs to see what they need us to do. Sure. Because this event is not our event. It's of course. It's the A&P commission that does that, and we don't have anything to do with it. A, hold on one second. And I've, me... I've written their information down here for you, so oh, you can great. call them. 
Thank you. Um, so okay. They do you have an office over at the convention center? A and P? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Advertising okay. and promotions. Oh, okay. Let me write that down because I don't know what A and P means. And now I do know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Advertising. A, D, B, E, R, T, I, S, I, N, G, A, N, D, P, R, O, M, O, T, I, O, N. Advertising and promotion. You said they have an office in the convention center? Mm -hmm. It's close to Church Street. Closest. That's the easiest way to get to them. Now, they're going to be the ones that you'll have to talk to on setting anything up here because we don't have anything to do with that. Huh. This is their event. Yeah. Okay, because I was told that it was uh, Visit Hot Springs. Is that the same people? They're yes. the ones who, yeah, they're the ones who run that. Oh, okay. No wonder I've been so confused. Okay, so this is the same people as Visit Hot Springs. Okay. Fantastic. Well, uh, my understanding, based on speaking with them on the phone, because I spoke with them on the phone uh, about seven times so far this week, it's been a very interesting week. Uh -huh. Now that I know what office you're talking about, they told me to talk to Maggie, and Maggie told me to talk to you. So it sounds to me like it's your decision. <laughs> it has nothing to do with our department. That's what I'm telling you. It doesn't have anything to do with what we're doing here. We're, we're building permits. We we do permits if you do an at-home business, that kind of thing. But we don't do anything with these events. Okay. Because I spoke with this office seven times on the phone. Okay. They told me to talk to this person. This person told me to talk to you. So I would like to know what you would like me Sir, to do I'm next. I'm trying to help you. I am. Madam, I am autistic. I apologize if I come off as rude. It is not my intention. Now, will you please call this number, my dear? Hey, BT. This is Jenny over in Building Safety. Um, we have a couple gentlemen here that are wanting to know about setting up a popcorn stand at the, the event over by, like, Flossie's Funnel Cakes. And is it A&P that they need to speak to? Because A and P is telling them to talk to you guys, and then you guys are telling them to talk to us. Maggie told them to talk to us, and we don't have anything to do with it. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. Bye. All right. Maggie's gonna call us back here in just a little bit. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to give you this piece of paper because your behavior towards me a moment ago was slightly rude. It is not my intention okay, to be rude. Let me, let me tell you something. I have an autistic son too. Mm -hmm. but you And sometimes the way that you come off, because you're talking to people also, so remember that, okay? I wasn't trying to be rude to you, but whenever I'm trying to help you, and then you constantly are telling me that I'm not helping you, it's not helpful. I'll okay. Away, okay. I am making a request under the Americans with Disabilities Act. The full text of the law can be read at ada.gov. I am making a legal request for disability accommodation for my disability, which is autism. Mm -hmm. The request that I am making is for your assistance in any way that is possible. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so I have been helping you in any way possible. We're currently waiting for a phone call okay. from Maggie so that I don't have to have you go back to Maggie's office. Sounds good. Okay, so mm -hmm. if you can sh hang on just a minute, we'll get you taken care of. Thank you very much, Jennifer. I greatly appreciate it. My dear, may I please make a request of you? Okay, I will be here or at one moment. I will either be here or I will be at the check-in stand where we were before with Haley, okay?
don't know why they keep showing them. Chihuahua outside. Oh, cute. It's very tough. Hot Springs, Oakland Park. Okay, so let's go over the schedule real quick while we have some time. Okay. okay. Because whether or not we can get a permit, uh, we will be going to the So, either way. It sounds good. First ever 20th annual, that's very funny, World's Shortest St. Chester's Day Parade, Bridge Street, downtown. Schedule 3 p.m. Okay, what time is it now? Two. Right. So we have a hey, Dorothy Red. Okay, focus. Safety. And I have a couple of gentlemen that have been over there talking to you guys this week. They just talked to us this week. They're trying to, they have a non profit. They're okay. trying to set up a popcorn stand. 3 p.m. Bridge out. Street Live Entertainment District um, opens the public. They've been sent okay. to business all to last year. 4 p.m. Blarney Stone $100 kissing contest. <laughs> well, I would like to participate in that. That sounds like fun. 5 p.m. Pre parade events. Oh, okay. I thought the parade started at 3. Okay, I misread okay. it. I'm sorry. All right. Um, uh, 6.25 p.m. Official measuring of Bridge Street Parade route. 6.30 p.m. Parade begins. Okay? So that's okay. when most of the people well, he are going to be here. The I thought it was at Fantastic. We have an additional three and a half hours I didn't know about. And, uh, 8 p.m. They, they told him to go free to concert by the Molly Greenwalds. So, Other guests. Um, Christopher yeah. McDonald, um, actor of Shooter in Happy Gilmore, Parade Starter Pistol, Justin Moore, Grand Marshal, also the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders, oh my, really? pretty ladies, wow, wow, okay, so this is the 17th, okay, now, this one is Right, 19th so, Annual uh, Valley of the Bay First so Independent no Music Festival. So if I'm not mistaken, that one is multiple days. Oh, Village People. Okay. okay. So Village People is tomorrow. I don't know. We haven't okay. that yet. We'll be going to that for sure because that sounds like fun. Okay. Valley of the Vapors. Uh, event passes. Right. Well, Here, may I have your phone for a moment, my dear? Okay. All right, that's what I need to know. Thank you, ma'am. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, let me look at this up. Okay, so A&P says that they have not, the, the right person hasn't spoken to you yet, but she is completely full for this event and can't get anybody else in. But you also can't do anything with their events unless you have your nonprofit tax stamp thing I for have them. provided it via postal service. Okay. I don't know if they've received it or not. I've okay. sent it via. Okay. They obviously they haven't it gotten via it. Um, express if you... mail, which means that it has a two-day guarantee. If it has not arrived, then that means I need to call and request my money back because 
it is inquiry. We don't know if it's arrived. I don't know. Did you send it here? Did you send it to the A&P office? I have two receipts here. One of them is for the package I sent here. One of them is for the package I sent to the uh, Hot Springs Visit. Visit, visit Hot, Hot Springs. That's, that's the same that's thing? Them. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. I was told it was called Visit Hot Springs. I didn't know there was another name for it. So I sent it to Visit Hot Springs. Again, if it has not arrived... Sir, I couldn't confirm if it's arrived or if it hasn't. I have no idea. And our mail up here goes upstairs, so it doesn't come down to this office. Okay. Um, and I'm not sure what office you addressed it to, so I don't know. But um, we in this office do not have your package. Now, has it been delivered to where it's supposed to? I don't know. I couldn't tell you that. Um, but if you check your tracking numbers, they'll tell you if they've been delivered or not. Okay. Now, I can, I can just tell you that the right people at the A&P office have not, they, they've are, they've been booked up for this event, she told me, for a long time. Mm -hmm. So, people start booking as, as soon as the event is over. They start mm -hmm. getting things that lined up for that the next year. So Fantastic. Well, please provide to me the information of who I need to contact so that we can be ready for next year. On that number that I gave you for the A&P, uh, post-it note that I gave you, you gave it to him. Oh, do you have the post-it note, my dear? Okay, thank you. If you would, please write down the names of the people I need to contact. It's just a lady named Alexis is all I... Alexis? Alexis. Okay, because I don't see Alexis's name on here, so I will simply write it down. Okay. What is her last name? I don't know her last name. I didn't get her last name. A-L-E-X-I-S at B... E Advertising and promotion office. Is this correct? Yep, yes, that's correct. Oh, whoops. Well, Jennifer, I greatly appreciate your help. No problem. Thank you for helping me with my ADA request for assistance. No problem. I appreciate your patience. I know I can be very annoying. Many, 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 many people have told me. So, I appreciate your patience, and we will be speaking again soon. Right. I need to go to the convention center, my dear. Any of those events, though, that you want to do, it'll have to go through AMP, and you'll just have to give when them what's down here. Yeah. The any, any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, now we that we don't have anything to do with that. Okay. okay. Well, now that I know the correct person in the correct office, I will speak with them. All right. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Have All a good right. day. To the convention center, my steed. Sounds or good. my sled dog. <laughs> Dealing with bureaucracy, it's not for you, it's not for me. Forget about you. Okay. Now I'm ready. Dealing with bureaucracy, it's not for you, it's not for me. Because the only language that Oaklawn speaks is money. The only language that bureaucrats speak is paperwork. Therefore, we will sit and do paperwork as long as is necessary. Now, it is very likely that Alexis will say no. But that's fucking fine, because now we know who to talk to, and she will know us in person. Do you understand? Yes. So, we are going to then proceed to Bill Hall after this, okay? We're going to get the car, and we're going to go to Bill Hall, okay? The printer. We are going to print new copies of our business cards. And we are going to give them away to any tourist and business we can find and make business deals with the businesses in town. Okay? Do you understand? Yes or no? I understand. Thank you. Jennifer is about to lose her job because she just said, I'm trying to help you to a person in a wheelchair who is autistic. Good job, Jennifer. Retard. And we know that Alexis is in her office because the city called her. 
They won't talk to me, but they will talk to the city. So we got the bureaucrats to talk to each other for 20 minutes and figure this shit out. It's almost like that's what they're paid to do. Therefore, we simply ask them to do their job. And if they don't do their job, we get them fired and get someone else to do their job. Does that make sense? Question. We're going that way. What's up? Um, we're trying to find the uh, A and P office, the uh, Visit Hot Springs office. We understand they have an office in the convention center. They do. Depends. On, there's two offices in two different locations. So what are you? Oh well. What's the business that you're? Uh, they have asked. I've been asked to talk to Alexis. We have the information. Ew, like specifically today? Yep. Oh crap. Okay. Here, here's the information. Go tell you where Alexis is right now. Office in Convention Center uh -huh. by Church Street. Uh -huh. Okay, so the way that you're going to go, you can go in any of these. There is an elevator, like essentially in the tower, right there. And so you go to the second floor and then go to the back doors. And to it's the, the second last... floor to the back door? Uh -huh. You'll see big glass doors down the long hallway and the office is on the right in the very back. And so someone will be back. I, I doubt Alexis is um, in the office at the moment, but they can find her. Okay. For you. Well, Miss Aaron, I greatly appreciate your help. Yes. I can't read your name tag. Oh, Katrina. Miss Katrina, thank you very much for your help. We will proceed there. Yes. Good, luck, good, good luck finding her. It's a crazy day. We'll do our best. <laughs> Bye, guys. We have more time than I thought. I thought the parade started at 3 p.m. I misread the information. It starts at 6.30. We have lots of time. Okay. Uh, well, they just came out of that door, so let's try that one. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities of Mother Nature's recipe. Or just the bare necessities of life. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam, I'm ever more fonder of my big home. I would like to speak to my friend with blonde hair, please. Well, I have let you know that that is where I would like to go. Good, thank you. Thank you. The bees are buzzing in the trees to make some honey just for me. If you look on... Hello, my friends. How are you? I see your name is Madam Clampett. And your name is... Madam... Chartrand. Chartrand. May I call you Marianne, please? Because... I am happy to say Chartrand, but Marianne is much easier. <laughs> so, yes, sir. Uh, I am an autistic individual. Uh, so just to let you know, so that it's not any confusion based on communication, because a lot of people get confused by what I have to say. So, I have been told by the city planning office and by Maggie Nunes at the uh, town, um, what was it called? Uh, town business office. We've spoken with both of them. We've been told to speak with Alexis at the Advertising and Promotion Office. We just need to know how to get there from this location. Well, I can tell, we can tell you where the office is. I'm going to tell you it's very highly doubtful that she's there. Fair enough. I just need to know where the office okay. is. So you go back over here to the elevators okay. and go up a level. Mm -hmm. And then you take that concourse, that hallway all the way to, like, there'll be doors, like glass doors, yep. and just before you get to the glass doors, you look to your right, there's administrative offices, and that's where they and are. that's where, that's where she would typically be. I greatly appreciate your help, Madam Clampett, uh -huh. and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to proceed there, 
And then you would like to return here for whatever is happening here? This is over. It was a VIP luncheon. Yeah, it just, it, it was an invitation. Oh, invitation okay. I thought this was some type of thing for the parade. Uh, okay, never mind. No. Who I, are you with? Well, I will write down my information okay. for you. I was just curious. Absolutely. I, I have learned through many difficult experiences that it is much better for me to just write it down for people. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are my papers? Oh, here we go. I'll use one of these. Oh, our, our charming map. I love this map. It's a great map. It is a fantastic map. So, let me write down the information for you. What office in the city do you work for? I work for I work here. At the convention. It's in Hot Springs. I sure do. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, we well, then you do. know exactly who Alexis is. Uh-huh. Yes, we do. Fantastic. Okay. Well, I need a blank piece of paper. Well, that's okay. You can just write it on uh, on this if you'd like, or you know, whatever you'd like to oh, write it on. That would be there great. We go. Thank you. Do you have a writing? There you go. I was just curious, wondering who you work for. That's all. Absolutely. I would like to tell you. Oh, actually, I can use this. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 You are invited. March seventeenth. What a lovely picture. The Pax VIP luncheon. Well, are you here? So. My name is Mr. Fox. I work for a radio show okay. on WPR. Oh, this is not a very good piece of paper. Let me find this. Do that. Here we go. This paper is slick, so unfortunately uh-huh. it's not working very well. Right. So, the radio station that I have a show mm-hmm. with is called WPR. AM radio. Do you work together? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. We have 2.5. I would just at the EastCon. Are you participating with EastCon? Because that's what it says. Yeah. Uh-huh. Absolutely. We yeah, are happy we to be there around. and interview the um, director, Mr. John Higgs or Riggs or something. Matt Dozier? Uh, He's work with different the people. president of the organization, Mr. Riggs, I think it Mr. was. Mr. Riggs, he's saying. I haven't uh, heard of him. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyway. Um, anyway, the, the president of the organization. Mm-hmm. We interviewed him for the radio. And uh, we have 2.5 million listeners. Uh-huh. Our show is about STEAM education. S-T-E-A-M. Meaning... Science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Our show is for puppies of all ages. Really, anyone of all ages. But well, referring to humans as as yes, it's a joke. I know. Okay. Puppies of all ages. One of the other big things that we like to cover on our radio program are the root causes and solutions for said problems because simply talking about the issues doesn't get anyone anywhere. The charity that we run is called Donate by Mail. Oh, what's up? Okay. Donate by Mail. This is the charity that I run. Okay. We create... We run. Oh, well, you're on the board as well. Thank you. Yes, we... Uh, I have to remind him all the time. <laughs> I made a mistake. And what is your name? Sorry. Trey. Trey. How are you? Uh, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. And my Pro name Air is Air Mr. Fox. Very nice. I am a presidential candidate. Can I sign some green? Pardon? Can I sign something green? Can you sign something green? Have something oh, green. Oh, have something green? Well, yes. otherwise people oh. will pinch you. Yes, exactly. you need something green. There you go. Uh, you're a presidential candidate. Uh, my website for the, my uh, campaign one is Fox. Two zero two eight. Just the blank one will be done. I don't know how many blank ones is your thing. Uh, just 
Oh, thank, thank you so much, that. Mr. Fox. I'll just fill like I will appreciate remember you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you mm. very much. Thank you. Let me write down your information. Unless you have a business card, I will be happy I don't to have it with me. I'm so sorry. It's fine. I would be greatly appreciative if there you would simply write down your information so what? that I know to contact mm -hmm. Madam Marianne okay. whenever I need help. Amy, I'm just going to give him my name. What a lovely okay. signature you have. Oh, I don't know. You, I know. It's a lovely signature. <laughs> and then, what is your phone number for your office? I don't know. You don't because know? Because I don't have my business card. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny. Well, let me it. write down my number for you. Okay, minute. there you go. My office. I, honestly, I, I don't remember it. So That's go. fine. My office for my radio show is open 24 hours a day. Seven days a week. My staff are waiting for your call. Okay. They will pick up in less than five seconds. Okay. My phone number is 501-226-6012. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Madam Marianne. I greatly appreciate it. And now, I wish let's... you the best of luck. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's fun. Let's... Are you watching the parade tonight and everything? Absolutely. Good. We will proceed to the office to speak with Alexis. Okay. She may not be in there. She'll probably be out there somewhere. Because you know we're fixing to have that, that awesome parade and everything. Absolutely. But you can proceed if you like. Please go. I will simply leave her a note. Okay, okay darling. And then that way she can let us know when she's ready. Nice to meet you. Great to meet nice you too. Pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all take care, okay? I greatly appreciate it, Marianne. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. See, he's got a green thing. There you go. I love yeah, it. Taken care of. Beautiful. We got more green. More green. Oh, there thank you, you very much. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. We will hang it on the back of the wheelchair. Beautiful. Now, my darling, I have a question for you. I'm turning you so bush. Please do. <laughs> Kid. Uh, oh. oh, that's too big. Um, what is this? Excuse me, please. Okay. Oh, you know what we can do with this? Marianne, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. I got your information right there. Fantastic. If you would simply place it in your filing cabinet, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Because it is really a lovely decoration for what you have. I don't want to do it as the entire thing, but if we simply remove some of this wire, it will make a lovely decoration. So, I'm going to work on this now while we proceed to the office. Please take this piece of paper and keep it with you. Okay, turn left. Watch out, 
my friends. Pardon us. Thank you. Put in my uh, headphones, please. It's a bit loud for me. I know it's the perfect volume for you. So I will let you enjoy it at your volume. And I will enjoy it at my volume. Okay? <laughs> Because they will tell my parents and or Sophie, uh, he already called us and your call is illegitimate and a waste of police resources. Therefore, you are not going to be able to be put in the hospital. Thank you. Turn left. Turn left. 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 If you want to, Bridge Street Live! Okay. Alright, my dear, I'm going to start recording an episode, okay? okay. Ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Alright. Oh, thank you. What's that? Oh, you want it? Well, you take it. Go for it. I was going to use the wire to decorate the chair. Go it's going to look it. awesome! Take it. Thank you very much, Marianne. Thank I greatly you. appreciate it. And I will 
work on getting the wire up on this one, but I'll just put it in there and I'll see if I can get it. If we do that, we can be very productive. If we let the bureaucrats do their fucking job, why we would do our fucking job, which is to make millions of dollars. My love, it is lovely to see how you look today. You now look very pleased with yourself. I am very happy to see it. My dear, do you remember? No, I didn't remember you were going. I know it. Okay. I'm not mistaken. She said to go up to the second floor and all the way to the back. We will simply follow that procedure and ask people as we see them. Because they just had a banquet, so that means that there's going to be a bunch of people here. Because if the city purchased it and is going to throw it away, we might as well take it for ourselves. Because they don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. A marvelous symbol. These are items that people were going to throw away. And we decided to use them for a better purpose. in a year. That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Ah, here we are. Here we go. How are you all? I'm very well. We finally found the right place. Let's hope so. Uh, one moment. Absolutely. What is your name, my friend? I'm Jimmy. Jimmy, it is wonderful to meet you. Now, who are you? My name is Mr. Fox. Okay. Trey. Trey, nice to meet you. Trey. This is my partner, Trey. All right. We are both board members of a charity called Donate by Mail. Okay. We have been told to speak with Alexis about organizing events for our charity in Hot Springs. Excellent. Excellent. So you're here to see Alexis. Mm -hmm. Yes. She, unfortunately, is not here right now. Mm -hmm. She is, of course, we got the parade going on. Sure. So she's the special events coordinator. So she's working oh, on that. Right special. Now. Okay. Let me write that down. Oh, special me, events coordinator. Let me actually. I'm gonna give you one of her cards. That would be fantastic. Ready? That's even yep. better. That would be great. Thank you. Alexis Hampo, there's her card. Fantastic, thank you. Well. Is it Hot Springs, 134 Convention Boulevard? I'm going to guess that probably the best time to get in touch with Alexis is Tuesday. Next Tuesday? Week. Yeah, I will give her a, a Monday off to kind of recover from Absolutely. The, for, for the parade. <laughs> I and believe then, it. Um, okay, let me just write that down yep, that sure. I need to contact her on Tuesday. I greatly appreciate it. Where are you all from? Uh, my family is actually from here, from okay, uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas. My grandmother's log cabin, built in 1850 is, or 1852, is right next to Cutter Morning Star High oh, School. Yep. Mm -hmm. Her name is Dorothy Ridgeway. Okay. And uh, my parents are named Priscilla and Jeffrey Waycaster. Okay. Very good. 
Okay, Terry. In relation, are, is there a Lloyd Waycaster in your family by any chance? Mm hmm. I don't remember exactly what relation, but yeah. I think he was a, maybe a member of my dad's congregation for a while at Park Place Baptist Church. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lloyd, I'm Lloyd pretty Wayne. sure that, I'm trying to remember, I think that's where my family used to go a few years ago. I, I wonder, yeah. Yeah, you know, my, my mother and father both grew up there at Park Place. And that's wonderful. That's I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Three, may I help you? Mountain Drive. Tell me, tell me what you're looking at right now. Give me a landmark that you're looking at. thing I the best thing I can do is tell you if you follow the trails back to Bathhouse Road do you know where that is all right from Bathhouse Road you will want to go north right across from the Arlington Hotel all right and you'll see a big display of the springs there No, it's it, you. You would want to walk there. Of course, again, not knowing where you are specifically on the trails, but everything is relatively close by in this area. So if you, yeah. Um, well, if I if you are where I think you are, if you go to the very top, you'll be there's an observation tower there. Right. More than just Java. You can drive there as well. Yes. There there's plenty of parking now. It may be full right now, but there is plenty of parking. Right. Yes, most of them will end up there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it, it, again, not knowing where you are on the trails, I, there's a possibility you oh. would see them. Yes. Yeah, Okay. Well, I won't be needing one of these. Well, if you walk. keep going, yeah. Like if you keep space. walking to the oh. top, you're going to eventually get to the <laughs> mountain. I'll walk in one of those. Yeah, right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. You're welcome. Thank you, brother. So, so was there, again, was there anything else I could help you with? Uh, did you have any further questions, my dear? Nope. Okay. So then. Uh, you said Alexis is the one to speak yes, to. Yes, and, and I suspect that, like I said, I think probably Tuesday or when Tuesday, sure. I'll bet she will be back in the office. That's perfectly fine. Yes. Um, if you would please, if uh, I, I don't really, uh, I don't know exactly the corporate structure of this office. Sure. But if you would please let your director know that we are interested in getting blanket permission to offer our popcorn stand okay. at any future events that you guys do. All right, very good. Because yeah. we live in the old high school. Okay. So, our, sorry, we have our studio in the old high school. Okay, very good. So, basically, it is any, any events that you do here are walkable for us. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So, sure, sure. Uh, including walkable by me in the yeah. chair. Excellent. Very so, good. if we can just simply have some type of, you know, 
carte blanche permission of like whenever you guys do an event. Well, Alexis would be exactly the person you would want to speak with for, oh, sure, for sure. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Yeah. Uh, then I will speak with her about that on Tuesday. If I could please have your assistance getting one of each of the brochures. For sure. You want you want to get every one of them? Uh -huh. I'm just going to pull them up each one here. I run a radio show called The Neil Fox Show. It has 2.5 million listeners. Okay. And one of the things that we are doing, like I said, is we have a new studio here in town. And uh, our goal is to bring lots of tourists to Hot Springs in our show. We sure have a lot in today with all the uh, with the spring breaks in the different locations. And... Absolutely. So I would like to work with your office and with Alexis, but with you as well, and with the director of your organization to come up with some type of um, to come up uh, to come up with some type of uh, partnership deal that we can do where I would provide radio advertising on my show sure. uh, for the city at no charge. And um, we would simply be able to partner with you guys to bring in more people to come to the events. Well, I'm sure any of those certainly would be glad to speak with you for sure. Fantastic. real quick. Much appreciated. It's Thank easy, you. easy, easy fix. I greatly appreciate well, it. Well, pleasure to meet you both. Thank y'all so much. Wonderful to meet you too, Jimmy. Pleasure. And thank and you. Tell your name again. Fox. My name is Mr. Fox. Fox. This and is my website, fox2028.com. Okay. Right. We'll write it down for you. Right. Right. Very good. Right. Nice to meet you both. Thanks. Nope. Nope. Not that. I just need something to write it down. Do you have a blank piece of paper? Uh, yeah. Let me just write down my website for you so you can check it out. Thank you very much. So, uh, actually, I'll write down my podcast feed for you, or my uh, radio show feed. I look forward to it. <laughs> My only mission in life is to turn the chair into a bush. I love it. Right, so here is my podcast feed. Okay, very good. You can take a look there and listen to it if you like. All right. And I would appreciate if you would simply pass that information along to your director and to Alexis, please. I will be happy to. Thank you. Very good. All right, let's head out. Thank you both so much. Y'all have a yeah. wonderful afternoon. You too. I look Thank forward to speaking to you again. Likewise. Absolutely. Would you please push the chair? Okay. It is probable that we will not be able to sell at this event, but we have all of the information 
So we've talked to all the right people to be able to sell at future events. They do about one a month, so it's not a problem. So whatever they're doing for April Fool's Day or for April 15th for tax day, but they're doing something in April. I don't know what it is, so we will find out and we will go there and sell there. Oh, we have the 4th of July. 4th of July is huge, much bigger than the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Much bigger. So, we need to be ready for that. Yes, my love, thank you. I am. <clears throat> And that was what you meant. <clears throat> I know it might surprise you that I sometimes misunderstand what you said. And our own storefronts would be awesome for that kind of thing. Oh, my love. I have a suggestion. Do you know who will be open today? Oh. Robo World. Because, of course, they finished their renovations in time for the parade. So, let's go talk to them and ask if we can sell popcorn inside their location. Because apparently, because of stupid fucking bureaucrats, we cannot sell outside the location. But if we can sell inside the location, that is perfectly legal. Well, we can't sell outside without the business's permission. Hi, hi. How are y'all? I love your costume! Thank you! Well, we can sell outside, but we also have to have permission from the city. Okay, so we have to have permission from the business owner and permission from the city. If you sell inside the location, I would like you to take me into this bank hall, please. If you sell inside the location, we only need permission from the business owner. Okay, I'm going to simply look around. Thank you. I would like to see what it looks like. Ooh, lovely. Okay, so this would be an example of one of the things that the convention center can do. Okay? And chairs are the convention center has in the Okay? Let me just take a quick picture because I like the way that looks. <laughs> 